She got here, Judy. There's her robots. I know she dabbled in robotics. Now that's fucking Shimra. Think that's how she winds down? After a day's work of tuning hardcore smut? Wouldn't be surprised. Whole tech museum? No. Oh, interesting. Place looks like a fucking antique museum. I guess you should feel right at home. Chick's got taste. Except for one thing. And what's that? Way she looks at you. Don't pretend you haven't noticed. Makes you all mushy inside. I can feel it. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Sh shut up, Johnny. It's like elementary school. Do you do you like her? No. Oh, I don't like girls. What? <laughs> What's no? Uh, techie things. Notes. Oh, we get to. We are really snooping, aren't we? Don't do this in real life, kids. Uh, I forgot to change the notifications in the pressure gauge. Uh, add an automatic reset when starting it up. Tracking module froze underwater again. Probably the waterproof case is blocking the signal. Fix. Make an opening for an antenna. Connection loss with the barometer when set at barometric or ba bathymetric mode. Fix. Add a, an automatic signal to switch back to last position before connection loss. Right. All right. What else you got? I know I want to eat breakfast, but you know not, not yet. What you got over here? Ew. Okay, we'll skip the news. Uh, new releases, brain dances. I don't know if this is from her or not. And I think I've read that one. Come in here. Ooh, what's this? Diving gear. Someone likes to go for a dip. Someone likes getting their feet wet. Oh, goodness. So I need to be an expert to tell the gears pro. Okay. Scan it. All right, we scanned it. It's over here. News report. Oh, okay. Let's see what news report she has sitting here. Fatal incident occurred Friday in Laguna Bend, a town located in the area surrounding Night City. Residents refused to vacate their homes. Properties had been officially declared a construction zone by the corporation which had purchased the land. Despite not all homes having been evacuated, construction workers were ordered to begin their work to prevent further financial loss due to delays. One resident climbed a crane in order to stall construction. The crane operator responded by lobbing objects found in his control room at the man. The operator subsequently lost control of the suspended load, which collided into a home and killed a family who were still inside. The conflict between Night City, uh, Dam, Lieutenant, <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to be, uh, and the residents is not new, but until now has not led to any casualties. The dispute began a few months ago when rent prices in Laguna Bend rose drastically, after which residents were informed that the land on which their houses stood was to become a reservoir. Some of their res uh, I can't talk today. Some of the residents relocated to temporary housing that was built as compensation. However, those who ignored uh, municipal directives and stayed put became the victims of corporate smear campaign, which identified them as agents of public unrest. APUs, uh, who were preventing necessary construction in order to secure access to clean water for all of Night City. As a result, public opinion quickly turned against the residents of Laguna Bend, and few, if any, paid attention to the city in, or th uh, to the change in uh, police tactics and open violence against residents. One could say it was only a matter of time before incidents like these, uh, like the one on Friday, would occur. <laughs> Sad. Who would have thought? Perilous so it's supposed to be like, yeah, it is. Punk. It's supposed to be like Daft Punk. <laughs> oh come on, it's great. Daft Punk is amazing. Security monitor. Okay, can't do anything with that. What's this? Oh, that's in the other room. What's this? No, nope. I want to look at cyberware usage and its side effects. I've read that one. She's got all sorts of stuff in here, don't she? Da -da -da. Let's go into the. Wow. <laughs> It's fun to walk through that, isn't it? Well, well, well. Bushido, complete BD collection. Oh, well, well. The Bushido collection in BD format. First three are collector's items nowadays. Okay. He doesn't have anything else to go with there? What's this? Some kind of data or something. Brain dances concepts. I think I read that one. 
Uh, relieve it. Brain dance quarterly. Oh yeah. Uh, guest editorial. Who is this from? It doesn't say. Brain dance editors have long strived to strike a balance between real lived experience and technological experiential purity. I think I've read this one too. <laughs> this commercial keeps popping up. I don't know what's going on. It's like it, it triggered when I reached this part of the game. And now it just won't stop. <laughs> Ooh, could I use her computer? Shopping list. What she got in here? High index contact lenses. Buoys with sensors. Why does she need all this diving stuff? Like buoys. What is she doing? Neural signal augmenter. Idea. Pain circuit breaker for dolls. Once the max pain threshold is reached, the sensation or session automatically shuts down. Client receives a fine. Net, no, messages. Oh yeah, she's got, oh man, she's got a bunch of messages here. Uh, compensation, it says. It is a, like a long, it's, hmm. This is, I think if I read through, hold on. So which one is the first one with? It's Evelyn, Roxanne, Judy. Okay. All right, you know what? Let's, let's quickly read through some of this. This is to Lucy. I have a friend with a doll chip that was damaged by a netrunner since the attack. She's been catatonic. The chip was fixed and functions normally, but her condition hasn't improved. Excuse me. I'll pay for expert advice. Here's what I do. Uninstall that chip. Just make sure you do it with the proper anesthesia and that she's closely monitored. In any case, you could just bring her to me. How about a house call? I'd rather not move her. She's been through every kind of hell you can imagine. I'll pay extra. Okay, I have a free slot tomorrow. And still nothing. Uh, this is with Evelyn. Hey, it's been like a thousand years since we saw each other. What's up with you, girl? Oh, wait a second. I think I've I've done this one before. We'll, we'll, we'll read it just to make sure. You still cooped up in Susie's basement, still with Maiko? Hoping at least one of these things isn't true anymore. So I've got a tiny favor to ask. Okay, it's more like a humongous favor. Super important to me, but should be a breeze for a geek like you. Holler back at me. Mind straight up telling me what it's going on. This got anything to do with your previous messages. And yes, one of those things isn't true anymore. I need you to scroll virtue for me. That's it. I promise in exchange, I'll make sure you don't have to do anything for the rest of your life but art. Let's just meet. Okay, where can I find you these days? Susie's basement. <laughs> That's really funny. All right, We're, that's, that's, that's enough snooping, I think. Is there anything else I could do? <laughs> that's enough, except maybe there's more stuff. Ooh, uh, the green death, max doc, and why be me? Confessions of brain dances, blah, 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 blah. All right, what are we having for our breakfast? Breakfast of champion, tofu, tuna, and pineapple pizza. Is that it? Eat breakfast. Optional. Is that, was that breakfast? Cup of coffee? Oh, no, that was breakfast. I had double breakfast. Leaves the building. I like how I just kind of stole all of her stuff. Oh, I can go into her bathroom. Creepy. Here's a cyberware by some guy. Anything else in here? Do, do, do. Nope. All right, we're good. We can leave her apartment. All right, what did it want me to do? I'm. Am I meeting up with her? I don't remember what she just said. I got distracted by, well, snooping in her apartment. So I'm going to have to check the journal. This is the main job. I don't want that. Oh, I can go talk to him. Uh, try talking to Barry. Investigate the site from the Bartmos collective message. Beast in me. So, oh, I meant to do that. I just didn't chip it in. Wait, wait a day for Rogue to call. Um, man, there's a lot of stuff here, isn't there? Go to the animals club. This is beat the, 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 uh, punching match things. Psycho killer. No beat on the brat gig. Wait, collect your free reward from Cassius Ryder's Ripper doc shop inventory. Huh, why don't I remember that? Actually, you know what? Where is that at? Can I, can I track this? I think that might be around here. Yeah, it's just up over here. Okay, you know what? Let's um, let's go there and get whatever that is, and maybe maybe I'll gain a call by then. 
We'll see. I may I may just wait the time and then wait for Evelyn to or not Evelyn uh, Rogue to to get a hold of me. I mean, I want to do this Judy mission first, honestly. But we're obviously in waiting. <laughs> maybe maybe I missed over it when I was looking over the uh, the missions there. But I'm pretty sure I just have to wait because that seems to be how all of these work. Um, this is just around the corner, so this shouldn't take very long. Also, you know what? I should check out this Ripper Docks inventory anyways, because honestly, it should be worth it to start looking at this stuff because I might be able to gain some more upgrades. You never know. Uh, ever done a more twisted tattoo than mine? So my tattoo what? Got it's this infection? guy. Maybe a moment's reflection. No, no, I've already come to terms. I'm more <laughs> curious if you ever inked anything more twisted. Oh, well, was this one guy who wanted fuck night corp, all caps, forehead, front, and center. Oh, disgruntled ex-corpo? A suit at City Hall. <laughs> eh, so rest easy. I've been around a while, seen worse. I think it's funny that it's this guy. How's Biz treating you, Cassius? Lately, can't complain. Max Tech raided a black clinic not long past. Since then, custom accounts gone up, and so my prices. Coincidence? <laughs> you decide. Let's see what's good. Take your pick. All right, let's see what he's got. So it's from his inventory. Is that a free reward, right? That's not free. None of this is free. That's Oh, that's crafting spec. Um... Oh, no, it says, I don't know what that means by that. Uh, apparently, I don't have a free reward. Wait, I'm so confused. Collect your free reward from Cassius Ryder's Ripper Dock Shop Inventory. Right. Am I, am I past that? Am I not allowed to do it? <laughs> Is this it's like one of those weird things? No, oh, it's back here. Just gonna, you know, loot all of this stuff. Oh, hey, look, it's Rogue. <laughs> good good timing. Saved by the Rogue. V, how's it going? Feeling better? I'm chatting with my people, and it looks like we might have a lead on Grayson. Everything's fine. I'm ready. What's the pay? Play? Play. What's the play? Sit tight for now. I need to comb through some intel, but it looks promising. Right. <laughs> Let's check this again. Uh, oh, actually, you know what? It might be in here. That's... Oh... That's really funny. It literally is a tattoo. I didn't realize what the tattoo was. It's it's just a heart tattoo with Johnny in the middle. <laughs> That's really funny. Um, right. I, I think it's funny that I could just put tattoos on. And I believe this was mine before. Increase the chance for ricochet shots, power weapons. Which is why it's like, hey, go. You can go put it back on. You can take the. You can take it off. Uh, smart link allows you to use smart targeting modules on smart weapons. Increase the chance for smart bullets to hit targets by 15%. Crit damage by 25%. Directly links to the user's optical implant for the weapon system, offering real-time data tracking. Cool. I own it. And it's legendary. I may as well put that one on. Because I'm not going to do ricochet with powers. So that's fine for me. Oh, you know what? I got, I got some money. I could probably look around here. What do we got? Uh, instantly restores 10% health on, after defeating an enemy. That's actually really quite good for us. Increase your cyber deck ram. Or no, when your cyber deck's ram reaches two, instantly free 20% of it. Hmm. What do I have here? I have defeating an enemy instantly recovers one cyber deck ram unit. Increases ram recovery rate and increases cyber deck's max ram. Huh. It might be worth it to to purchase this. It's like most of my money, but my goodness. Or like the crit damage thing. That's also quite good. I, I'm gonna I, I think I know what I want to spend my money on. <laughs> what do we have here? Stuff that I can't get. I don't think, right? Yeah, I don't have enough body for any of that. Uh, immune system. Oh, what's this? After taking damage, there's a 2% chance of releasing a large electroshock that deals damage to nearby enemies. 2%, huh? I like those odds. <laughs> I've, I've, 
made hits in oh full body conversion. I've made hits in uh in uh, uh XCOM with less odds than that. I've also missed hits with better odds than that. Uh increases uh durations of drugs, slows time by twenty five percent when you are detected by enemies, which what do I have? Evasion by six, allows you to aim and shoot while dodging, slows time by fifty percent. Right, right, right. Yeah, I'm I'm fine with what I have there. Uh, I have increased armor by 20. Yeah, I can't. I don't have anything else I could put in there. Or at least this guy doesn't have any. Um, I like to double jump quite a lot. We're going to stick with that. Ain't nothing better than my mantis blades that I got. Um, what do we have? Increase attack speed and incre increase carrying capacity. Oh, I'll take the carrying capacity one. And then again, we got quite good stuff there all right so let's let's look at the the ones that i want to swap out i kind of like the heal on kill because we already have that effect why not boost it you know but that's thirty five thousand. that's like all of my money Oof. and then i mean i could swap out one of these like cyber deck ram recovery rate I bet this is so entertaining for you guys. Uh, negates the effect of enemy quick hacks. Actually, that's kind of nice. I don't know. I like the crit chance by 15%. But I ain't got the... Well, I barely have the money for that. Let's do it. Bam. All right, now we're sitting pretty. Oh, hey, who's this? Hello, V. Jefferson? Listen, I need your help again. Matters private. Sure, okay. What's it about? Not on the hollow. Come by. I'll lay it out. Explain everything. Got your back, Jefferson. Not to worry. Great. We'll see you here then. Remember where? Of course. Be there in no time. I do um, want to quickly check this again for his cyberware stuff. Uh, do, 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 just to make sure that there is no free thing here. I just gave him so much money. <laughs> Stupid. Um, it's also possible that it wants me to do one of these, but I think it's going to cost me money to put that back on. Sure, you want to buy and equip this implant. Crap, this is going to, this could be bad. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to put that back on. Do, do, do. that one on okay there we go <laughs> oh i got it okay so it was indeed a tattoo that it wanted me to to grab <sighs> right all right so we got that one done <laughs> i don't even think i got an xp for that uh we could go to paralysis apartment you know what let's um hmm I kind of want to... I'm so lost here. I kind of want to go do something with Rogue. Um, but none of this none of this is good. So you know what? What we're going to do, I suppose, is go over to his apartment and see what he wants while we wait for Rogue and everything. I think that makes the most sense. Actually, there is a thing over here. Let's let's take this on. Actually, let's save quick. Hey, I did nothing to quick you. save. What save. Quick. Uh, we are going to contagion, and then we're gonna crouch. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, now let's take these nerds out. Here, Exxon. Oh, no, oh. I think I killed a guy I didn't want to kill. Oh. On accident. <laughs> It was definitely an accident. He he was he was uh what's the word I'm looking for? Collateral. I think I saved this guy, but I definitely <laughs> got this friend. Whoops. Uh yeah, look, I tried. I tried to help out. Is this is this where I realized that I'm actually not helpful at all? This is like being Batman and then realizing that you've killed a bunch of people and in fact, the crime rate hasn't gone down at all. It's actually just made the city reliant on Batman. And if you die, it's going to skyrocket. 
that, is that all this is? If I take this motorcycle. <laughs> right, where are we going? Not a fan of this music. Let's let's go to I don't, know, I don't remember which one is which. Let's try this one. Sure, let's go that. That's a little bit more passive than music. That oh my goodness, that's quite the drive, isn't it? I kind of want to go though. I like I want to I want to just look around the city for a little bit. That's the mood I'm in right now. It's just kind of exploring the city. This game has so much just love and detail put into the actual city. Um, and I don't mean this in like a simulation way because I don't think the simulation is done well. You can completely break everything very, very quickly by simply sitting in the middle of traffic. <laughs> so like, as far as the simulation is concerned, it's not great, but the love and detail put into the world and how it looks and how it's designed is really quite good. And I want to appreciate that. You know, for me, playing GTA 5, you're in the world and the world feels alive in a lot of ways. You do get to kind of see the scenes of the simulation uh, more so than would be ideal because you're looking around and you're seeing, for example, that, you know, that NPCs are behaving a certain way and every now and again you come across like a random thing but it, it's all very you you could tell it's fake right you could tell it's simulated it doesn't feel like a living world and i don't think really any game has done that yet we'll get there for sure but it does definitely feel simulated it's just a better simulation than what this is like you know in GTA, if I bump into cars like this, it, I'm not just like bumping into cars like this. I bump into a car and the guy gets out of the car and is like, what the hell? What are you doing, dude? <laughs> you know, it it makes you feel, this thing is awful to drive. It's way worse than our car. It makes you feel like, yes, I'm in a living, breathing world. And I think that that makes a big difference to the enjoyment of the open world. But with Cyberpunk, it's more, the, more of the focus has been put on the aesthetic of the world than on the actual simulation. And while that has its downsides as we've just discussed, I think I enjoy the look of of the cyberpunk world as opposed to Los Santos and GTA 5. Like, obviously, as a California kid, you know, born and raised there, I'm very familiar with what they're trying to simulate with GTA 5, but at the same time, you know, it's, uh, this is just way cooler in so many ways. It's so impressive too when you look at it. Like, just look at this scene for a second without movement, without the YouTube freaking it out. Like you've got, this is what I mean by this, because you can look anywhere in the city and get this exact same type of thing. Can I, can I fix you? Night. Can, can we? <laughs> Hold on. It's very disruptive. Okay, okay, there we go. That's better. That's way better. All right, all right, all right. So we just look here for a second without any movement. So it's not getting all pixelated on YouTube like it does. You've got these billboards in front of me. Some of them are, you know, actual in motion and moving. Others are just kind of have like a, a flicker, a glow, so they actually look like they're on. I got whatever the heck's going up in the top left over here with this. Maybe it's a butt? I don't know. Oh, you know? Oh, it is. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Got that. There's the floating thing going around. You see the steam and the smoke coming off the top building. You have this scrolling digital uh, ad going up into the air. It's like, this is just so cool and so pretty. It's very cyberpunk. Very, very cool. Very well designed. And, you, you know, while you get cool city design in Los Santos, you don't get that. And that's what I mean by. We're upstairs. Thanks. That's that's what I mean by I like the design of Cyberpunk's world better, even if the simulation isn't as good. And um, that's why I like just driving around and enjoying the world. And like I was saying, if if I go and replay the game, a, a vast majority of my time is going to be just looking at the world and be like, ooh, ah, uh -huh. you know, when I'm playing a series and I'm recording it. I'm trying to keep the action going, despite me being in my inventory for a while there, trying to figure that out. Um, I'm, I'm trying to keep things moving forward. It's good to see you again. If I'm playing Something on my own, happen? I'm looking at everything. Come on, 
Jeff will explain everything. <laughs> He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his meetings out of the office today. The office meaning here, so nobody will bother us. Mike, bother we're talking us about the cornerstone what, exactly. of my platform. You I'm not doing a U-turn just because Night Court... Hmm. No, I'm not sucking anyone's dick just so they can fuck me in the ass! Look, I gotta go. Make the amendments, we'll powwow later. What's up, buddy? Pete, glad you could make it. Jefferson. Grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come over. Um... Can I? There we go. We've had a break in. Not the usual kind, though. So unusual, how? A couple of days back, dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it. So I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Interesting. Why me, of all people? Wouldn't rather have a detective look into it? Prefer to use tried and tested contacts. Generally wise, I guess. Mayor Ryan's death. You couldn't quite figure that one out. Well, I did. But I like how you work. I know I can trust you to be thorough. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break-in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. Um. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. And that narrows it down a little bit, actually. Was it an implant? Couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either. I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. I don't like that. That does not seem right. I am suspicious of her now. What did the intruder? Oh wait, I didn't. That's not what I wanted to do. That's scary. I can't remember much. Or was it an implant? Elizabeth didn't see him either. I okay. Anything missing? That's a good question. Intruder, take anything. Break anything. Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. Hmm. Said you passed out? That's right. Just after I fired. Don't know if I trust that either. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. He got knocked Any out. Yeah, who you made it back to your bed? No, none. Elizabeth had a loss too. He got knocked out by her. She knocked him out. Something's going on with her. Security, look into this. Say anything. This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see her, hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. This security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? No. Um, no. <laughs> Doubt it. They'd have to be true gonks, or at least gonkly overconfident. Anyone else come to mind? Walden Holt? He's my main rival, fighting for the same seat at the table. Holt's poll numbers have been dropping. But it could be anyone, really. Wasn't him. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. <laughs> we could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. I already did. She's up to something sneaky, and you caught somebody else in the apartment that got through, not that broke in, but maybe Shall got we? let in, and then she, in order to stop you from shooting him in the head, knocked you in the back of the head and knocked you out. That's what happened. Detection, detective, detective case, done. Boom. 
Put a stamp on it. Figured it out. Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. If I figure that out, I'm I'm gonna be very smug. <laughs> it might have been a little obvious if that is the case. Or maybe that's their Come point. Maybe they're trying to to get you to think that, right? Rather poke around my own way. You mind? No, of course not. I'll be right behind you in case. Yeah, I don't trust her. I'm not going to tell her anything. I'm not going to tell her who my leads are. I'm not going to tell her anything because that gives her the ability to um to cover herself up and and I don't I don't want that. So, definitely not working with her. Just going to go full on Batman detective mode, you know what I mean? Just take a look around. Big old screen. Got some double doors over here. What's in here? Okay. I just, you know, I want to make sure we're being very thorough. Checking everything out. This is examine the apartment. Oh, yes. We're going to examine the apartment. All right. You, you bet your butt. Anything on here? So if, if it is what I think it is, which is she's probably sleeping with somebody. Um, I, I want to check all the usual places for that kind of thing. What's this? Do, do, do. Scan it. Fresh fruit. Tasty. By the looks of it. They deliver it to us. It's included in the rent. There's some weird chem stuff in here. Enhanced food? It's smart food. It's enhanced for improved mental performance. Hmm. I don't know if it really works, but people believe it. Other than that, it isn't half bad. Fresh fruit for rotting vegetables. Funny. What's this? Uh, what you slot is what you got. Yeah, just taking a look around. There's a bunch of crap on the ground. I don't know if that was from me or not. I want to know where this person was spotted. But I'm not sure I'm ready to do that just yet. Ooh, this is really cool. Bet you I could just jump. <laughs> that make any of you nervous? <laughs> Be nervous. I'm not afraid of heights, but uh, this is kind of spooky. I, I have you ever been on like a tall building like this where you're like, I don't like standing here. That's how it is for me. Just, just not my thing. I figure I'm gonna take a look around out here first because I bet you there's a bunch of stuff inside that I can actually go look at, um, especially around this side. And it's possible if someone got in here, they they didn't do it through the door because security didn't see anything. They didn't hear anything because this guy went to pull the trigger and then got knocked out. I think that's what happened. I don't think he actually got the trigger pulled. That's my that's my thought. Um, there, oh, there's a whole other, other level too. Okay, this is gonna take a bit. I think. What's in here? Got a computer. Okay. Can I jack in? to focus relax doesn't look good anymore security had to set up somewhere one of the many small sacrifices i've had to make this was the first but it won't be the last right okay i'm gonna jack in oh wait no let's exit let's see okay um no no that's <laughs> jack it there we go let's just steal money from him <laughs> I'm just going to take money from him. Uh, this may not go well. Uh, if I go 7A... I hate this. I think I think I should go... I think I should go 7A. 55. Okay. Maybe? Yeah. Um, hit up 7A again, then go, I, I have to nail this one, 55, no, BD, is there a BD here? There's not, so 55 is my only option, but I don't have a 1C, man, I screwed this up, I hate that, <laughs> just 
Ah, so close. What if I go BD1C7A? I at least got two of them. I need that money. I actually really do. All right, and then now I can use their computer. I don't I don't like her following me around. Oh, someone's Oh, Rogue's calling. V? Got to the bottom of Ebonica. Flicked pings to some contacts. Grayson buzzed familiar for a friend from the olden days. He did some digging. Found something. Section of the docks that's Maelstrom turf. Uh. So why are these docks called Ebonike? Pretty sure it's got nothing to do with some long dead mayor. Dead wrong, actually. It's not the docks. It's an old container ship named after the guy. So, okay. So you found Grayson. You really got an in with Smasher? Come see me, Afterlife. We'll talk. All right, so we're, okay. we're gonna have to do this after we're done investigating here. Let's continue being Batman, though.